Words cannot express the tremendous grief that our nation is experiencing following yet another school shooting. And the latest tragedy took place at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on Valentine's Day. And as a community and a nation, we mourn the senseless loss of life and our deepest sympathies go out to the victims and their families and friends. The educators who risked their lives to save others, Aaron, Christopher, and Scott. And then the 14 high school students, 14 kids, Elena, Alexander, Alyssa, Kara, Carmen, Gina, Helena, Jamie, Joaquin, Luke, Martin, Meadow, Nicholas, Peter. Please let's have a moment of silence to honor the 17 lives that were taken too soon. These students went to the same high school that I went to, but their experience is very different than mine. They are a part of a mass shooting generation, a generation where everyone seems to accept these tragic events as one of the risks that comes with getting an education. The responsibility lies with adults like myself who didn't grow up doing active shooter drills, teachers, like myself who didn't start our careers by pulling blinds and teaching students how to hide in closets. We didn't speak out when these practices became normal, but we have to speak out now. I know that this is personal for me because I went to school at Stoneman Douglas, but if we don't act, it's only a matter of time before it's personal for everyone. We will all know someone or know someone who knows someone. Usually after a tragedy, we hope things will get back to normal, at least as normal as we can bear. Not this time. Complacency and normalizing tragedies like this is how they persist. We can no longer normalize or accept mass shootings. We also have to reject so-called solutions that fail to address our problems or create schools that are unwelcoming. When schools start to look like prisons, we know we're headed in the wrong direction. We need solutions that keep our students safe and keep them safe everywhere. Kids also go to movies, concerts, and clubs, all places where mass shootings have taken place. I know that talking about common sense firearm safety isn't normal for educators or for school boards. But in addition to discussing preparations like our active shooter protocols or preventative measures like adding school counselors, we have to talk about policy. I am past the point of debating whether or not gun violence is an education issue. It is. When kids are afraid to go to school, that makes it an education issue. When our society can't deliver on the most basic promises to parents, that their children will come home from school alive, that means we have to have this conversation. When active shooter drills become a part of standard teacher training, educators must join the debate. And so I am very grateful that we are working together on events for March 14th, like wearing orange and spending 17 minutes outside together to honor the lives lost in Parkland, Florida. I stand in absolute solidarity with the survivors from Stoneman Douglas. Never again. Thank, thank you, Suzanne. And I want to let you know I appreciate that in the aftermath that you reached out to board leadership, to the superintendent, um, to other staff um, at PPS and ask us to join you and teachers um, to, to make a difference, to take a stand, and looking forward to working with you and P the members of PAT and all the, all the staff in the schools and parents across the city um, to recognize that we've got to do things 
differently. And I think, um, as you mentioned, um, it's really adults' responsibilities to make um, things different for our students. And at the same time, I've been really um, inspired by students um, sort of finding their voice um, to tell adults what they need and I, and what I think as parents we all expect students should have when they go to school every day, that they're safe um, and that they're going to come home. Uh, so thank you and we look forward to working with you um, and the rest of PAT and other school staff. So um, as we move, move forward the next couple of weeks, um, anticipate of March 14th, I'm going to ask a couple, couple board members to be on point to be working with the superintendent and the rest of the school community on um, um, how we will voice, our, will lend our collective voice to um, broader action in the country and here in our own community.